Well, hello folks, my name's Ian and welcome to my shed. I will look at... Wasn't supposed to do that. We are looking a little bit tidier than the short that I put up the other day. Uh, I wasn't going to film this, but I thought, well, why not? Give you something to look at. Plus, it gives me chance to try out my new smartphone holder. However, the one I picked up was with a vent fixation. So it was, uh, now I've got this old speaker stand. That's it, there you go. Well, this speaker was on top of that stand. I thought that will make an ideal tripod. So there's the uh, holder, but as I said, it's uh, an Irvent fixation. So I've clipped it against that clip, which in theory it's meant to do, but these smartphones are not cheap. So I've took a little bit of armoured cable and wired it on, so should it fall off, it can't. Right, I've been given a commission. Uh, can I make a small pig planter? Now, I'm not going to do this to death. It's one of those helium balloons. I chisel the top off. It's only held on with like little studs. And I cut the valve out. On the underside, we've got three little bumps, which are the legs. That's going to have to be its bottom. And that gives me a choice now. You can see I've got a, real, a, a blow off patch, a bit like what they have in cars in, in the cylinder blocks when your engine freezes, it pops a core plug out. That's the same thing. Now, to me, that can be an eye. I mean, that's my first suggestion. That can be an eye. And I'll make another eye over here. However, popping that off, popping that off, let's pull a little bit of uh, the metal out because it's very thin. So, I'll disguise that. I put in the other eye there. There's the nose. I'll figure something out for a mouth later. I've already used an angle grinder, flap disc and taken off the uh, the paint. I can't, I can't weld paint, I can't weld. So I certainly can't weld paint. The next thing would be to choose some legs. Well actually that stand is holding up quite nicely. So I've gone and had a look at some tube it's a thin material i'm going to have to use a thinnest tube so I'm, I'm welding thin to thin rather than thick to thin and giving me problems uh got this job i think it was off ah, it could be off anything this is off uh, a trampoline base so we're looking at legs and I think thicker for the legs is going to be better than thinner. So there we go. We've got the legs. And it's all, it's all, it's all pretty eyeball. You know, it's, there's nothing hard and fast about it. So there. So the other eye's got to go there. That's about equidistant, so I can always measure it from from there to there and there to there. So that's that. So it's going to be a planter, so we'll need some cutting off. We're going to have to go half. So that's about half there and come straight across and half there. That's about right. I'm going to say 
I need somewhere to put the ears on, so there. That means about there. I'll mark this up later a little bit more better, better. I'll do. So I'm going to go ahead, mark things up, get the grander out. I use this tube to make the eyes on the larger pigs that I do, and it just picked it up. See how it, how it looked, and it just happens to be almost the same size as that washer so i've done a little bit of eyeballing <laughs> eyeballing and i've drawn a circle around there and i've center popped it in the middle remember folks you only get one pair of eyes so face mask You get 10 fingers, so you can afford to lose one or two. Uh, so don't go moaning, because I don't have a guard on. That just allows me a little bit more flexibility, visibility. So don't do as I do. As for gloves, well, these, these little flimsy cotton things, they don't stop angle grinder blades. These don't, but they give you that fraction of a bit warning. Here's... Right, so that's its bottom end, isn't it? There we go. So that's, uh, I think we're coming on. Right, I've got to drill the hole. This might not be so pretty. I think I need to charge my battery up. Should have gone for something with a bit more warmth in first place. Aye. Aye. <laughs> oh, I'll stop going out with that joke. So, I'm going to find a big washer. Uh, I'm not going to touch that because it's going to be hot. I learned that when I was on the... Uh, Taking the safe, the safety bit, that's hot. Right. Time to find a washer. Right, well, you may or may not believe me if I say I've never thrown a washer away in my life. So, uh, let's have a look for a washer. This is my big washer tub, by the way. Big washers. So. Too big? Yeah, way too big. Well, look at that. I'm going to say that's near enough the right size. We just have to make the hole bigger. I'm going to carry on washer hunting. So I've got my big washer. You can see that eye there. It's kind of raised. So I've taken another washer. And I'm going to... Going to dish it best I can. I've got a big thick 
washer. Uh, really, I need one of those doming tools, or I could make my own, but at the moment, it's just take socket, put it over there, and start to and start to dome it, and then I'll fill the I'll fill the hole in. Use the uh, the pain on the uh, ball end. I'll do. We'll make it too too domed. I really need a little bit more of a poof, that way. That will well behind that. I shall fill that in. That will give me its bulging eye like that with the uh, bigger washer over the top. That's the effect I'm looking for. Okay, well I thought I had the camera running and I didn't. So what I've done is I filled in the hole in the middle of that washer and uh, smoothed it over. And that will get welded on in there like that to give me a similar type of eye as that one. I'm hoping similar. I fill that little hole in, and it, I'm sorry, because this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, it's very thin material, easy to blow away. However, I've got a solid copper uh, heat sink. It's out of a big fancy computer heat sink. And if you stick that underneath the hole like that, and you weld, then your wire is not going to stick to the copper and it allows you to build up your weld. And that's what I would have liked to have shown you, but I didn't have the camera running. So I've got that little hole filled in. I need to do it now. I need to put my eye on like that. So uh, I'll crack on and do that. I think that'll do. Uh, a little bit of cleaning up. So that's the tube I'm going to be using for the leg. I found a little piece of tube that's uh, slightly bigger than that. And that I'm going to make the nose. So I've cut a piece of that off, took all the paint off it. Found a washer that would fit inside, welded the washer in and filled in the, the hole in the middle. And now that will go, say the little down a bit. So that'll do for the nose. So I'll get this nose tacked on. Well, with that nose welded on, and with some fancy grinding because I don't forget I am a grinder god don't profess to be a welder well, we'll give this we'll give the pig a little snouty thing Have a bit of paint afterwards. So if you guys remember the uh, the handle, well, we're going to cut that off, and that's going to be the ears.
coming on, coming on. Nice. We got uh, got the legs. We've cut the legs to a height. We think it's going to be right. Uh, Cause we're going, so they say, tube against tube. Uh, I don't even get that angle just right. Okay. Because we're going tube against tube, it would be rather splayed out. Or have to be vertical. So to get it coming out at an angle that I like, you've got to chamfer it. So that's been cut at about 33 degrees. And if you can see, I've just dished out in the middle as well. So we get a... Uh, you can't fit here. You get, you get a nice fit. Get these legs welded on. bit of a playing about with some uh, blocks of metal. I've got a height that I like and just get welded these legs on. Trouble is the more I look at this the more it looks like a chinchilla rather than a pig. Well you work with what you've got. So the tail line on, holes drilled for drainage. I've just got to show that off to you. To do that, uh, I've taken a, a leaf out of Brutus Metal Arts, who has a, dis a circular display table. He also has a video how to do it, which I haven't watched. As you can tell, I've just taken a big burring out of a washing machine. I've jammed a part of a well part of the drainage pump motor of the washing machine inside of that that's welded on on the other side and I've just welded a piece of flat bar to the outside of the burring and it ought to work piece of wood on top of that display the uh, chinchilla Frankenstein pig <laughs> So not quite up to Bert standard, but uh, here we go. What I need to do is to motorise it. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Anyway, one chin chilli pig. We're waiting paint pink, of course. With it going outside as a planter, I've decided to give it an undercoat of uh, red oxide and especially a thick coating on the inside so it won't rust out straight away. Uh, We've enjoyed that build, Frank and Pig and me. 
See you in the next one.